Welcome to Bad Food Blog. And today, I don't have the tripod, so you've got spinny, spinny, sickly camera. Look at this. Buffalo chicken wings. Yeah, cook 35 minutes to cook. Me and Max are gonna try these and they look amazing. Let's have a look at the packaging and let's get it open and see what's inside. Now, to start with, the box says TGI Fridays on it and that's the best bit about it. Um, I believe it's one of those sous vide, boiled in the bag type deals that you then need to look at. Um, per half pack is 300 calories, not too bad. Cooking instructions, let's read these. Cook from chilled, preheat oven to 200 degrees centigrade, fan oven 180, already on that. Remove from the pouch and place in a baking tray. Cook in the center of the oven for, fifth, oven for 15 minutes. Remove from the oven. Gently separate before returning to the oven for a further 20. Remove from the oven and toss the wings in some buffalo sauce. Coat well. What do you do after that? Oh, then you just eat them. Okay, that makes sense. I always thought when you put the buffalo sauce on, you put it back in for a little bit to make it all sticky. But apparently not. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Two bags. Predictable. Buffalo sauce. And chicken wings. So... I guess we've got to cook it for 10 minutes to separate them. So, first thing I need to get is... Baking tray. And because I know this is going to be very messy... Some tin foil. Can you see what I did there? All packaging is my nemesis. I'm bad with all of it, and all of it's bad with me. See, this is sort of boiling the bag, and then... Yeah, I'm not going to break it up. It's all covered in gelatin. Look at that. Yeah, lovely gelatin. <laughs> okay, this looks particularly bad in this lighting as well. It looks like a little Qui-Gon... Uh, Guy, little Qui-Gon warrior. If you've ever seen Red Dwarf, uh, some of you will get that joke. Okay, um, I guess wait for the oven to heat up and then uh, put it straight in. Okay, the oven's at temperature. It's going in for its first 10 minutes. Alexa, start 10 minute timer. 10 minutes, And in it goes. Okay, let's have a look what we got. Ooh. We've got to break this up a little bit. Sorry, I had the camera at the wrong angle. I've just broken it up with two tongs. Didn't want to touch it with my hands. Um, looks pretty good. We've got seven chicken wings. Three, four, five, six, seven. And everything seems to be going great. Uh, sorry about that. Back in the oven for the next 20 minutes. Alexa, start timer at 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Uh, voila, here are the cooked chicken wings and here is the lovely garlic bread that's also gonna go with it because we had this left over from the other day. Um, right now, so buffalo sauce. large bowl. How badly can I do this? So from what I gather we need to toss the wings in this. So I'm going to transfer all the wings into the bowl. Then I'm going to pour the buffalo sauce over it and then I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to put them back on the tray and then back in the oven for five minutes because that's how I've always done buffalo wings and I don't believe in the way they're doing it. Also, this is the TGI's buffalo sauce. If I don't have enough, I also have my red, um, Frank's red, uh, red hot buffalo wing sauce as well. <laughs> Although this looks like it's going to be enough. But as far as I'm aware, you're always supposed to put stuff back in the oven after putting buffalo sauce in it. I've never had this before where you don't put stuff back in the oven. But this is how I always, you know, if you do buffalo wings, they don't have that texture. I'm pretty sure they've just left off this last instruction. 
See, you cover them in the sauce, mix it all around, make sure they're covered absolutely everywhere. Then that goes back in the oven for another 10 minutes. That is how I've done them every other time I've done them. And then it ends up nice and sticky on the outside. Then this goes back in the oven for another 10 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna cut out on this final step of putting them back in the oven just because it's not on the packet when it's the way I've done every other buffalo wing recipe I've ever done. I'm just pouring this over there. Yep. Let's get a spoon and get that. Get the last of that lovely sauce all over the bits of the chicken where it's not completely covered. And then the sauce will caramelize and stick to the chicken better. You know, like, because this is kind of a, it's kind of a very spicy, buffalo-y. It's got a little bit of barbecue to it and a little bit of vinegar in the sauce. I can tell that this is why I will, I know my assistant won't want to eat this. Max, come check out the buffalo wings. Really? Um, the, the recipe doesn't say so, but normally you put them back in the oven to make the buffalo sauce sticky. You're in, you know what I mean? And dry it out a little bit. Yeah. This is re it's really weird it's not saying to do that. Alexa, start timer 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. That's better. Alexa, stop timer. It was only about seven minutes, but, but that's, you know, we've got closer now. So, oh. let's get a nice big one and another one. Oops. I'm going to try this mini one on camera, but I will have to let it cool down for a minute. Okay, they've cooled down a little bit. Just enough for me to pick one of these wings up and give it a quick try. Let's start with a little one. Wow, nice. Mmm. Mmm, the meat is falling off the bone. Mmm. It's quite spicy, but not as spicy as I was expecting. Oh, look, it's just falling apart. Mmm. And as always, your hands get filled. That's really nice. The sauce is really nice, but I'm glad I dried it out a little bit. But my God, is that spicy. Okay, going to need a glass of water with this one. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please push the like button and please share the video. And I'm going to go put my messy fingers all over the phone now. Ooh.